What's up guys and girls and today we're brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful recipe for macaroni and cheese. I have created and invented this recipe, this specific recipe, and I love it so much that I want to also share it to you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So these are the ingredients you need to make this beautiful dish. As you can see, it's not much ingredients at all. So let me talk to you through them. So this will serve four people. So you need 500 grams of macaroni or pasta. You will need an onion, diced tomatoes, preferably two tins. But if you don't have diced tomatoes, you can also use the pomodori pilati. Those also are very nice. You can crush it up, which I'm going to show you in the later part of the video. And then of course, you would need some mozzarella cheese or any type of cheese depending on your needs but preferably mozzarella cheese and then of course your spices like you can use any spice you want your favorite spices it doesn't matter at all beautiful dish so now if you are serving for six people then you would add it by two quarters <laughs> and if you're serving for eight people then double the dose so yeah, so now let us begin with the first step of making this dish. So the first step is to put your macaroni to boil. So as you can see, I got my pan over here or my pot. And then I'll put the boiling water, which I have put to boil on the kettle because it makes it much more easy because it takes two or three minutes on the kettle. It takes like 10 minutes on this. So it's already boiled just now. Let's make get some more bubbles and then we'll put some salt to it. So I would usually pour about like halfway to three quarters of the pan so it can accommodate every single part of the macaroni. Like that, that seems good. Then I'll put it on to like level eight so it can boil nice and quickly. And then I would put some salt to give some flavor to the macaroni and then some oil so yeah I'll show you how that looks like right now so as you can see it is boiling very nicely so now we are going to go on to the next step so as you can see this is boiling very very nicely so now we're gonna put in our macaroni so as you can see, it is made very easily to open. So as you can see, you just pull this over here. It's a piece of tape. And then if you're not going to use the full dosage, then you can put it back with a nice sticky tape. And then you have to open like chip. So now as you can see, this is the macaroni. I opened it up and we're going to pour it in now. So as you can see, the boiling just stopped immediately. So now we're going to put our, our lid on, but we're not going to put it fully on. We're just going to leave some air to come in so the water to not like get all now and then. If, if you're a cooker, you'd know what I mean. I can't explain it. So that's the first step done. Let's move on to the second step. So the next step, the second step is to cut your onion and to peel it, of course. So it's pretty simple. To cut the onion properly, you take the knife and you cut it over here and then on the end so you don't have to have that roots. So let's do that. As you can see, these are the roots of the onion and I cut them off. I'm gonna try not to cry. Actually, I will not cry if you hit the subscribe button. That will make me very happy actually. So now let's peel off the skin of this onion. 
So what I would usually do is I would take a layer of the, of the onion. So you can do it with your hands or anything, but as you can see, I took off the layer and I can start peeling. And this will peel everything off nice and easily. Now many of you might not know that I love cooking actually. It might actually feel a little bit weird. Actually, I feel weird posting a cooking video in a car channel. But you know, you gotta have different topics to talk about. Because I got lots of exciting videos planned for this channel. So as you can see, I finished taking off the skin of the onion. And you know, now it's time for the hard part. The chopping of it. So let's throw the skin away in the dustbin. Or you know you can actually use it for your garden. I heard it's good for your garden. As you can see, I put it in the dustbin. Take our onion and a secret, a key secret to properly chop the onion is you cut it into four parts. like this and then you just you know just start chopping it's as simple as that So as you can see this is not the best job but it's a chopped onion. So now what we're going to do is we're going to now go back to the stove. So now before we go on to the second step, as you can see this macaroni is becoming very good so I decided to reduce the speed to level 6. So now we need to mix up this macaroni. You know, so we don't get stuck and for it to be pleasant everywhere. This takes like a few seconds, that's good. So as you can see, it's very easy to mix up the macaroni. So to go on to the second step, we will need to get our oil again. We're gonna put oil in this pan. It's like a deep pan because we're gonna mix up the onions and then we're gonna put some tomato in it. So I'll show you the amount of oil which I think is right. I think not a lot of oil is, is enough, like just right. So it's not too much, not too little. So then you'll put it on to level five and let that oil become nice and warm and then we need to put on our oven because we're going to also be putting the macaroni inside the oven you're going to see that it's very very cool so we're going to put it on to since there was load shedding we're going to have to press these buttons so we have to press the timer the stop and the minus button together as you can see, because there was load shedding. So now, I recommend putting it on 180 degrees because it's going to properly cook the macaroni in a good amount of time without burning this. 
Now, if your macaroni is becoming like mine, which is water has evaporated and has soaked in the water, became nice and fat, and you think it is ready, what you do is you try one. Pretty simple, you just take one. Bear in mind it's gonna be a bit hot, so then you blow it off to pull it off. And you try it. If it is nice and soft, it's done. But I'll give these another two more minutes, and they'll be done. So as you can see, it takes 11 minutes. Just like it says on the package. Very good advertising. So a good way to check if your oil is nice and heated up is when you put your hand right by the oil. Then if it's nice and warm, then you can put your onions in. So let's do that. So as you can see, I got my onions over here and then I am going to now put them in. But now you must be very careful because the oil is going to be very hot. Now let's let our onions cook and then I'll be right back with you. But now in the meanwhile, these macaronis look like it is done. So let's try one. They're done. So if they're done, we take them out. It is a bit hot, so we will need our towel. Which is right over here. You take these out and you will go to your sink. A cool trick that I learned to take out the water without any other equipment is to take the lid and then you just take it out by the sink. Like this. And you can take out all the water nice and quickly without using extra equipment which means not having extra dishes so before we move on to the next step let me show you what to do if you don't have the diced tomatoes but you have normal tomatoes like this so what you would do is you would either get a fork in a bowl and you would just smash it up or if you have a machine like this or a food processor then you can also put it like that but I have a machine like that, that's when you open this up. Nice. And then we just put it in the machine. And then as you can see your full tomatoes over here then we would put on the lid and then we would do this then you would crush that tomato and make it into juice. It gives a really good hand exercise. And now, as you can see, it is all nicely crushed up. So now we can move on to the next step. 
So now let's move on to the next step. As you can see, our onions are cooked. I kind of burned them accidentally because I was spending too much time with this. So let's put in our juice. There's usually a plastic thing in that machine that usually come out. That's why I was busy holding it. So it does not come out and burn. This is the plastic thing I'm talking about. Then you would take your diced tomatoes and then you would also put that in. Then you would mix it. Make sure to get everything in there. So now as you can see, that is very, very good. So now we can take out our spices. So the spices that I am going to be using is some black pepper, just a little bit, some salt, I would usually use some chili flakes but it's out of stock, then I would do some garlic flakes, and then call me crazy but I would also usually put a cinnamon curl, but that is optional, the cinnamon curl really does put some flavour. So now let us put on all these spices, so I'll start off with some salt, you can put as much salt as you prefer, oh, yeah, okay, I think I put a bit too much salt, yeah, you can put some black pepper, not too much, not too little, some garlic flakes, And one cinnamon pull. And of course, it smells amazing. Then we're gonna mix it all up. Now you might be asking me, Alex, why are you making a cooking video? I don't know, I just, this is a recipe that I have made up and this is a really nice recipe, it's very tasty and I want to share it with the world because it's a very, very nice and delicious recipe that you should try, very, very nice. So now let us just wait for this to cook and we're now going to move on to the next step. So while the tomato is busy cooking, we are going to grate the cheese. So let's go. So as you can see, I have finished grating off the cheese and I like putting a lot of cheese in this recipe because the cheese is the thing that transforms this recipe. So the second last step is putting it on the pan or on this baking tray, baking pot. Yeah. So that is, if you don't have something like this, it's fine, you can use anything, anything that you can put this in and mix it up. But I like this because of the presentation, here's a good presentation. So now, so as you can see, I took that tomato paste out of the oven. And if you want to test it out to see if it's ready, all you do is you take a spoon and Try it. 
you can feel that cinnamon. Some of you might be looking at me crazy like, why did I just put a cinnamon quill on this? That should taste really, really nice. Like there's a nice kick of that cinnamon. I really recommend it. So the first step is you take your macaroni and you would put it in your baking tray. Yeah, this is a bit more difficult than I anticipated. So as you can see, it looks very nice. One word of advice, do not cook while you're hungry because you're just going to be munching on this macaroni all the time. So then you would take your pot, but remember to take out your cinnamon quill. You don't want that in your main recipe. You can put that for presentation on top. So we're just going to take it out for now and we're going to put it. Now if you want this to look very pretty, you would usually lay it out on the top and make it into layers. But I don't recommend this because as you can see the macaroni is specially shaped with limes for that the sauce to really get on that macaroni. So what I do is all I do is I just mix it in. I ease it in. So like you know with an old car, you ease it up the hill. No, that's why you start up those old cars so you can get those cylinders working. So let me know, do you like new cars or classic cars more? And what's your dream car? I would like to know that. My dream car, I have many. But me as a BMW enthusiast, I love the BMW M6 E63 model in 2006 that's one truly beautiful car but also like the Ford Fairlane or the Mustang Fastback you know from the 1969 the Stangs call me crazy but I also like the Hellcats the new Hellcats nothing beats that wine of a supercharger you know, Dodge has actually made the Hellcat actually faster than the Porsche for 2.5 seconds. They did that. The Americans did that. So soon it will be faster than a Tesla. Crazy that Tesla made it 1.9 seconds in Model S performance. Absolutely crazy. Like, why would you want that? It's just too much. So as you can see, I laid it out, so now we are going to take the cheese and put it all over. So as I told you, let's carry on with the story. Do you prefer too much questions? But do you prefer electric cars or petrol cars? Now, I actually made a whole video about uh, petrol and electric cars and yeah, like it's the petrol versus hydrogen versus diesel versus electric cars and actually that was a pretty interesting video because I explained lots of history. I'll link it up in the iCard box so you can view it. So then as you can see I put that cinnamon stick on top for presentation. Looks pretty nice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the oven. So now let's put it on the oven. So the oven has heated up to 180 degrees because the red light is off. And I'll put it in for about 4 to 5 minutes. Doesn't need much because just cheese melting.
can see guys, it turned out pretty good. It looks very, very nice. Let me give you some shots that I took. So if you guys stayed to this part of the video, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to smash the like button and the subscribe button. And also if you learned something new, I would appreciate it if, you know, you shared this video to your friends or family or strangers. Because remember, if you enjoy it, everyone else will enjoy it. And also if you are making this video right now, let me know down in the comment section below if you have enjoyed this recipe and also if you have did any modifications to it or if you have did like a cheese delete or onion delete let me know or if you have i don't know like put some things on like a tuning or something so have an awesome day as always and i'll see you in my next video goodbye <music>